One such style is Hong, created and named after Hong Shi Guan, a Cantonese master known as one of the Ten Tigers from Shaolin. He was a disciple of the famous Shaolin abbot Ji San, who, after escaping the burning of the Shaolin, became the major figure responsible for spreading Shaolin Kung Fu throughout southern China. Here in Hong Kong, Master Zhou Ji Ling demonstrates the Hong style's famous tiger and crane form. Combining the fighting movements of the tiger with the crane is in accord with the Chinese belief in the necessity of balancing opposite extremes to create a harmonious totality. In Kung Fu, this concept is referred to as hardness and softness. The hard is represented by the tiger and the soft by the crane. Therefore, the fierce tiger's power and directness in attacking is complemented by the elegant crane's speed and elusiveness in combat. In Hong Si Guan's tiger and crane form, then, the hard elements of combat are subtly wedded with the soft elements in order to create a complete fighting method. Observe the intense exertion in muscular power required in the opening movements. Despite the seeming hardness, there is a certain absence of rigidity or stiffness, which is replaced by a fluidity or softness in the execution of each move. This form exemplifies the concepts of the unification of softness and hardness, in that applied muscular tension is subtly balanced with relaxation. The total intensity apparent in these motions demonstrates the total concentration of physical and mental energy, which is the key to performing this form correctly. Visually, a form seems like a dance, Yet, despite the dance-like qualities, a form is not a dance. Every movement is pregnant with hidden meaning. Behind those elegant and intricate hand and foot patterns are deadly techniques that can injure, maim, blind, emasculate, or even kill. And behind the ever-flowing graceful motion is a power which, if unleashed, can be destructive. A form is a series of prearranged offensive and defensive techniques which simulates combat against a group of imaginary opponents. Contained within the many choreographed movements are the blocks, punches, kicks, and various techniques exclusive to that particular style. Here we see tiger and crane techniques being performed. To say form is the heart of Kung Fu is not to exaggerate its traditional importance. Everything is in the form for it is the primary method of both instructing and training in the art, a way of transmitting a system of knowledge from master to disciple, an encyclopedia of fighting techniques, applications to those techniques, principles of body dynamics and combat strategy. At the same time, as a formal exercise of Kung Fu, it is an effective way of developing power, speed, footwork and fighting combinations all that is necessary to pack authority behind movements, if they are to be effective in combat. Simply as an exercise, form conditions the entire body for strength, flexibility, endurance and coordination. Still on the purely artistic level, a form is beauty and a grace of motion, a visual poem or a musical composition that allows the individual, through his body, a profound means of self-expression. When executed with precision and virtuosity, a form epitomizes the ascetic. Kung Fu is power concealed in elegance.